so um, I'm trying to come back to life. Tell me if I'm on to something. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey, what goes on, people? It's POW the producer P -O -W. with the Geeks Music Group TV. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to bring sound fonts into FL Studio 20 by using the Reason plugin. Let's get it. Okay, so actually, this is going to be an easy process. And I'll run through this from the beginning to the end. So let's get rid of this first. Okay, now we're gonna go in, we're gonna add Reason Rack plugin. We're gonna grab an NNXT. This next step isn't necessary. I just like to do it because I love uh, combinators and I've made different backdrops for the combinator so I'm gonna hit combine it just kind of shows up in there and then I'm going to go to select backdrop and then I'm gonna find my flute joint this is it cool so then we're gonna reset this we don't necessarily even have to reset it let's just go ahead and not let's reset it since we're here now let's find our flute. And I have a whole bunch of uh, sound fonts uh, that are you know, specific for trap. Uh, but I have a flute sound font folder too. So I like this MK2 flute. Pretty dope. So boom, that's as simple as it is. Select all of these. Let's hit the release a little bit. I'm only doing this because I realized that sound fonts were kind of a thing if you're working in a 64 bit FL Studio um, 20. Um, it's a thing. Um, and what I mean by that is. I'm just going to try to bring a sound font in and, and let you see what I'm talking about. Say I want to bring that same sound font in and you see that it's highlighted. When I bring it in, this is what happens. So I thought that I could put the folder inside of this direct rate wave player, but that didn't work because watch when I try to, nothing happens. Um, at all but if I if I go with what's already set in there which is the Mellotron strings boom they just pop up and we so um, to me this is a thing um, so if you do have reason reason uh, it accepts sound fonts fairly easy um, the one thing that you can do if you don't have reason though to get around this is there is this. I don't know how to pronounce this and I'm not even going to try to, but it's there on the screen and uh, just search it and you can find it. But you can use this and you can drag the sound fonts in and you're all set. Okay, also, I just lightweight wanted to bring up um, sound fonts are a thing to me. Um, and what I mean by that is since trap has become kind of retro um, as far as sounds are concerned and, and trying to make them uh, retro sounding, um, there's so many free sound font packs out there that are retro and that are fire. I mean, just out and out dope that... I'm thinking that this is an actual thing that, that should be utilized. Um, it, it takes up very little space on your computer. And there's some there's some dope sound fonts out there, uh, packs. Just my opinion. Ball it up and throw it away if you don't agree. Once again, I hope this has helped. 
Peace.